。卑斯省選競選活動踏入第十八日，保守黨今日宣布卑斯復康計劃，咁以結束濫藥問題同埋精神健康引發嘅公共衛生危機。咁而新民主黨同綠黨都公開批評保守黨嘅計劃，未有提供充分嘅支持或者係應對措施。鄭嘉榮嘅報導。卑斯保守黨黨領羅士德今日喺已關閉嘅高桂林 Riverview 精神病醫院推出精神健康改革計劃。佢批評新民主黨喺過去七年管理不善，導致大量嘅省民面臨精神健康服務長期輪候同基礎設施不足嘅問題。保守黨承諾設立嚴格嘅精神疾病輪候時間標準，確保患者能夠及時獲得護理。There are so too many places in British Columbia where、uh, mental health services are just not available. So we need to make sure that we expand out those services so that mental health can be received in various regions around the, the province when needed. 保守党亦主张非自愿护理治疗，并将检讨精神健康法，确保依类嘅高风险人士唔会再流落街头。未来对成人康复嘅问题，应聚焦喺预防、治疗同埋康复。We want to end decriminalisation. It has taken tools away from police to have a have a civil society, and it is obviously not working in terms of when you look at the numbers of people who are dying from overdoses. We will stop the drug legalization. This whole issue of safe supply is not safe. It is dangerous. This should not be the approach that we take in British Columbia. 而綠黨黨領 Sonia Fresnel 亦發出聲明，批評保守黨嘅計劃缺乏實際嘅解決方案，強調綠黨主張提供受監管嘅藥物替代品、住房保障以及對精神病健康服務進行投資。至於新民主黨亦發出聲明指出 ，Riverview 精神病醫院喺二零一二年由卑斯自由黨政府關閉，而羅斯德就係當年嘅自由黨省議員，自由黨政府未能提供適當嘅支持或計劃。導致好多嘅患者無處可去，造成如今省內面臨嘅精神健康同無家可歸問題。另外，新聞主黨温哥華 West End 選區候選人 Spencer Chandra Herbert 今日就批評卑斯保守黨提出嘅富人減税計劃將加劇不平等，對大多數嘅省民唔公平，並指責保守黨迴避公眾對於該黨喺多元性小眾嘅立場以及可負擔能力措施嘅質疑。We support LGBTQ human rights. We believe climate change is real and that we have to act against it. We believe in improving housing affordability. That's the affordability challenge most British Columbians face, not the challenge of paying the taxes if you're the richest 2% and you own 36 A&Ws, a couple luxury cars, and a couple of mansions. 而今日晚上六點半至八點期間，三大政黨黨領參加省選前唯一一場嘅黨領電視辯論，就關鍵議題進行討論同回應提問。新時代電視，鄭嘉穎報導。